Hey chickies, so today we're doing a white palm tree and rainbow stripes. I really hope you like it. Let's get into it. So the polishes I'm using today are from Orly's new Pacific Coast Highway collection. They come in a set. It says on the box includes one free bottle of polish. I don't know which bottle is free, but that's good, I suppose. It's pretty cool. <laughs> Getting a free bottle of polish, that's always good. <laughs> Now I've started off with a white base, which is always a good idea when you're using lovely bright colours like these, and I'm using all these white tips for that. Now to do the rainbow stripes, I'm using the brushes just from the polish bottle. So for this particular stage of the nail art, you don't need any tools apart from the polish bottle brushes, which is fabulous. And the Orly brushes are quite thin, so that they are perfect for that. Now to start the rainbow stripes, I'm beginning at the cuticle area, so the base of my nail. You can obviously start at the tip if you prefer, but this is where I'm starting mine. Obviously using this gorgeous dark purple from the collection and just using the polish brush. Now yes, you're going to make a little bit of a mess and no, I didn't use any liquid latex to protect the skin around my nails for no particular reason. I just didn't even think about doing it to be honest. I didn't think I was going to make a big mess and I really didn't. It wasn't big enough of a mess to you know be worried about now if you're if the brush that you're using seems to not get into those sort of nooks and crannies around the sides of your nails then you can obviously use a small detail brush to fix that bearing in mind the amount of colors that you're going to be using for this and let that dictate how thick your stripes are now at this point I was getting a little bit worried because I was worried I had two more colors to go and I was worried I wasn't going to be able to fit them all but Turns out I was wrong, so it's all good. Uh, but yeah, don't be too concerned about how neat this is. Of course, you can use some striping tape to, you know, help you in the neatness. But I wasn't really worried about that because I knew that I was going to be painting a white palm tree over the top. So I wasn't super duper concerned about it. Like, not at all. And as you can see, the cleanup is super easy. It's not a big deal. My Royal Majestic brush and my non-acetone remover worked perfectly, so I wasn't concerned. Step is to add your favorite top coat before painting. Obviously, you know, if you don't want to do the palm tree, then this is it, that's the end of it. But if you want to go ahead and do the painting, then I'm using white acrylic craft paint. But of course, as I always say, you perfectly fine to use polish if you're confident enough to go ahead and do that that's just perfect I'm super jealous of you but oh well <laughs> now we're just doing a basic palm tree and um, I'm making sure that the base you know not you normally um, paint like a little bit of land for the palm tree to sit on I'm not going to paint a lot of that because I don't want to lose that gorgeous yellow at the very tip of my nail. Uh, yes, I am using my maxi brush from the Stylish Nail Art Shop and I always feel really guilty about using the, the brushes from the Stylish Nail Art Shop because I don't know if she's ever going to open again and I feel like it's really bad for me to use a product that you can't possibly buy and I feel really bad. So I'm sorry about that. There are lots of different uh, shops all around the world that sell fine detail brushes um, not just for nail art but fine detail brushes like early on I used to find them in craft stores and things like that but yeah I'm really sorry I keep using this brush but you know it is my favorite brush and I have to use the tools that I've got so again I'm really sorry but if she ever comes back and her store reopens I will be sure to let you all know I promise I will you'll be the first people that know after me so absolutely Now once my palm tree was completely dry, I went ahead and added a coat of sesh feet, as per usual. But then uh, I knew that I wanted to be able to show it really well in the photo, so I did mattify it using IM Nails Out the Door Matte Top Coat. However, you know, that's completely up to you. I really liked it uh, matte and shiny, so, you know, that's a completely personal preference. And I it orig originally did it only because I wanted to take a lovely photo for you, so yeah. And that's it for this one. I really hope you like it. I love it. I wore it for two days straight. I, I love it. I really do. Because it's a palm tree and I love palm trees. They're so much fun to do. Anyway, thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.
Bye chickies. I want to thank you for subscribing and thanks for that delicious thumbs up. Bye.